Hi guys, this is Anna Chi with you. As you have already understood from the title of this video, I'm gonna make a house for my puppy Archie. And for those who don't know, my baby is only three and a half months old and by breed he's a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. I want to make the house from cardboard. For this, I specifically bought a very dense five-layer cardboard so that the house turns out to be strong and not just a single-use one. Well, since for my pets I always do something unusual, this video will not be an exception either. I'll try to make the house something like a trailer or a camper. Basically, it should look like a house on wheels. So first of all, I'm marking the sides. The house will be rather big in size, so that Archie feels comfortable to sleep inside it. The length of the bottom will be 75 cm and the length of the top is 20 cm longer, something like a trapezoid. Just like the roof of the house will be bewheeled and the top corner will be rounded. Also, there will be an entrance and a small window. After everything is marked up, take a stationary knife and cut it very carefully. It's better not to do it on the table, we can just put some wood and do on it. I'm using a piece of laminate that was left over after renovation. Additionally, I'm cutting out the exact same part, just without a window and a door, so that there is not much light inside. Next, we need to draw and cut out the front and back part. They will be of different heights and slightly different widths, and if we make a large window on the front, then there won't be another window on the back, again, so that there is less light inside. The next stage is to make the top and bottom part. In size they will be almost the same, just about 20 cm longer than the house itself. Also, for the bottom I will cut two completely identical parts and then I will glue them together, so that the floor of the house is stronger. The last detail for the base will be a small strip for the rounded corner. And after all the main parts for the house are ready, everything can be put together. First of all, we'll glue the two parts of the bottom, and for this hot melt glue is best suited. But for large volumes, it takes longer to melt the right amount of glue. Then we connect the side parts from the front and back. As for me, it would be better if you first slightly glue it, then check out if everything is good and nothing has bent, and only then completely fill the joints with hot melt glue. The details starting from the bottom, then the backs and the roofs will be a couple of centimeters wider on the sides than the front part, so that as a result the house looks good. The part that will be glued to a rounded corner initially needed to be bent in the right direction and then glue it. Now it remains to attach the bottom and then we can proceed to the wheels. We'll draw a fairly big circle on the cutboard and then cut it out very carefully so that it remains a circle. For a normal wheel thickness, I need three such circles that need to be joined together. Also, exactly in the middle, there will be a smaller circle, such as a disc that needs to be passed over with white paper in order to highlight it. Then we stick the same disc on the wheel itself. But only the wheels can stand the whole house. Therefore, it's necessary to make some supports. As for me, it would be more correct to make them in the form of a triangle with the same width on each side. According to my calculations, there should be five of them. One at the beginning, one at the end, and three in the middle. Putting the house
house roof down, you can mark how the supports will be placed and then glue them. After that we can attach the wheels and now I exactly know the hay. I cut out the space for them beforehand with a stationary knife so that they seem to be inside. The next thing I want to make is a toy basket, which will be in front of the main part of the house. To do this, we need to separately cut something like a fence. It will consist of three parts, one long and two sides. The height of these parts will be not very high, since baby Archie is short-legged, and so that he can comfortably reach for toys. The fence height will be 8 cm. And when all the parts are ready, we'll glue them using hot melt glue. make the last and the most important detail. As you all know that this is a dog house, so I decided to make a huge bone on top of the roof. I'm also cutting it out of cardboard and for threads I'm gonna make two identical parts, which will be glued together. Next, the bone should be highlighted, so we can either paint it in white or stick a white paper as we did with the discs. It's good that I have a lot of self-adhesive paper, therefore it can be glued to the bone in two layers and then cut off the excess. By the way, quite recently I bought a new toy for Archie in the form of a big wheel. I loved it so much that I think it would be a great idea if the wheel is not just put in a basket, but hang it in a prominent place. Like this. And now the house can be decorated. Some of the stickers I bought in the store, while others I found on the internet and printed them out. Here I have colorful paws, different signs, and also a sleeping corgi. I decided to stick the big bone on the roof exactly in the middle, but in order to keep it well, it's better to support it with small planks. will create a little comfort atmosphere in the house. I've got a soft lounger, a lot of toys and a green rug, after which Archie's house looks like this. Probably it's unlikely in Archie's head to pop up the thought that this is a beautiful or unusual modern house, but I'm sure that he will definitely feel comfortable there, just if he doesn't chew it off. By the way, how much do you think this house will remain intact? Write in the comments. Maybe a day or two, and maybe Archie won't touch it at all. Archie has already woken up. Let's look at his reaction. The size of the house is not small. I would even say that it's quite enough than required. He can freely turn around in it, sleep and also play, since he's still small. I also like the convenient location of toys. They are all close and he can choose any toy and then lie next to them and play. percent sure that Archie liked the house and will, but now he is more interested in playing, eating and playing again. Well guys, with this our video comes to an end. I hope you like it and you will want to see more similar videos on the channel. Don't forget to write your ideas in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. And that's all.
for today. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye. Blah, blah.